Hey guys, this is Nate Story here with Bright Egger Tech, and today we're going to talk about hydrogen or expanded clay pebbles and how and or why you would use them as a growth medium in your system. So uh, hydrogen is basically an expanded clay pebble. If you guys are uh, have been kind of following along in this series, you know we've talked about things like perlite, we've talked about rock wool. A lot of these things are basically uh, mineral or mineral products that we heat up really, really hot and they expand or they pop up like, uh, like popcorn basically. Clay is one of these things. So these are basically clay pebbles that we heat up really, really hot. The clay expands and uh, you end up with this nice hard but very lightweight clay pebble. And it's great, great, great for growing plants in. So uh, this stuff is super useful for small applications, applications where you're going to be putting your hands in the medium quite often, growing plants, pulling them out, removing them. It's really, really easy to work with. And so for, um, for small scale hydroponic applications, this stuff is primo. Now the only drawback is that it's kind of expensive, so you, but you get what you pay for and it's a really, really great medium. So the water holding capacity on these things is not huge, but it is much better than a lot of other types of uh, plant medium um, and it's just because these got things have a lot of biological surface area or a lot of surface area um, once they're kind of colonized once you've got a little organic matter in there they end up holding actually a surprising amount of water and so these can be a, a great uh, type of medium for flood and drain systems especially um, with the caveat that it does float on the front end so when you're first getting started these things still have a lot of air in them and they tend to float. But after time, with, with enough time, as they get saturated with water, they stop floating and they become more and more uh, useful and a really, really great medium for those uh, ebb and flow or flood and drain type production systems. So the nice thing about these things is that they have a ton of pore space. So when you stack them together, um, there's a lot of air in between these uh, clay pebbles. So uh, right off the bat too, they've also got a lot of air inside of them. So as the system matures, uh, you, you maintain a lot of that pore space. So as the water drains away, you have all of this oxygen and air that's kind of circulating down there into the root zone. And you also have the ability for this to actually hold some air or to trap little bubbles as it's flooded. So this can be a really great medium from kind of an air holding uh, capacity or from, a, from a, uh, the standpoint of getting air down into the root zone. Um, you know, these are pretty, uh, pretty renewable. I mean, clay is very abundant and it doesn't take very much to make this kind of stuff. Also, because we're dealing with a mineral, um, you know, it's, it's not like, uh, it's not like these are a, a problem, right? Um, there are areas of the country where people dump this stuff. Uh, that's not great, but by and large, you basically got little rocks, right? And um, so whether or not you classify them as a pollutant or as uh, something you should be really concerned about going to a landfill, that's up to you. But by and large, they're pretty darn renewable and you can reuse them for quite some time. The only reason you can't reuse those is if, if you were to use these in really high salinity or a hot, high salt application for a long period of time and they were to build up a lot of salts, that's the only condition in which I would consider actually throwing this medium away. So the pros of clay pebbles are that they're really, really easy to work with. Um, you can find them in a lot of different places they're, great, uh, they're a great growing medium for putting plants in and taking plants out of a system. Additionally, they're pretty good when it comes to biological surface area. They're better, they, they don't really have a smooth outside and so you get a lot of really good colonization by your microbes. Um, the cons are that it's pretty expensive stuff. It, it isn't the cheapest stuff in the world. Um, and it tends to float on the front end. So if you're doing ebb and flow or flood and drain type beds, um, you can have quite a bit of disruption as these things tend to float up uh, at the beginning of their life in your system. Uh, besides that, they're, they're great on your hands. They're really, really easy to work with. Everyone loves this stuff. It's not a question of, you know, is it a great growing medium? It's a question of, can you afford it? So um, clay pebbles, uh, the, the one thing that they can cause some problems with is pumps and plumbing. Because they float on the front end, um, some of these smaller pebbles um, sometimes float up, get sucked into pipes or sucked into pumps and can kind of cause some, some issues there. Uh, additionally, they tend to be a little bit dusty. So you want to make sure you give this stuff a rinse before you get it into your system. 
if you're rinsing it and uh, once it's established, it's not gonna cause you any problems, but you do wanna keep an eye on your pumps, on your plumbing overflow, and uh, basically uptake pipes on the front end of your system just to make sure you're not sucking too much of this into those pipes or into your pumps. So I hope that answers some questions about hydrogen or expanded clay pebbles. They're a great, great medium. If you can afford them, I highly recommend them. Um, if this answered your questions, awesome. If you have more, leave them below. Uh, check out our blog, and as always, please do subscribe.